News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook, a Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group, a Prince Amila Entertainment TV, available on Twitter at Amila ENT. Today is the 11th of March uh, 2022. How are you guys doing? Should say, say, remember, guys, we are now on SciSci, our application, our podcast actually is a Prince Amila podcast on SciSci. Just look for us. And, uh, so, guys, we all are on our way of uh, the Mbuzi roundabout at the moment. And uh, so, uh, the designer of the Mbuzi traffic interchange in Harare, DNMZ, has dismissed social media claims by discredited activist Hopio uh, that the ongoing project will cost 42 million US dollars saying although they did not review project information to third parties with the, without approval of the client professional costing expect the project at 88 million US dollars in a statement yesterday the company also clarified the scope of their involvement on the complex mega project DNMZ are engaged to do the design of the civil and structure aspects of the interchange. However, we're not the project managers of the same. I read the statement. DNMZ said the company was not involved in some aspects of the project, which include the relocation of service cost, professional fees of other consultants, electro engineers, quantity servers, mechanical engineers, and e IA specialist among others as well as the cost of enabling work such as details and traffic accommodation. The company also stated that it was not involved in the compensation of property owners, relocation of people affected by the works complexities associated with the working on leave site and payment of royalties for extracting of gravel and aggregates. As DNMZ, we have full confidence in the professional team working on the project and assure the nation of Zimbabwe that a world-class product has been designed and is being constructed, said the statement. Opel, who is famous of spreading falsehoods against the country, has of late gone into overdrive, spreading unfolded claims that the complex traffic interchange's cost was $42 million instead of the announced and professionally computed $88 million. US dollar. However, this has since been clarified by a statement that was released by the Transport and Infrastructure Development Ministry. The winning design consultancy firm is both South African and Zimbabwean registered engineers as per the laws governing engineering practice. In standard practice on completion of design, the engineers provided the estimate of construction cost $65 million US dollar for the interchange only and the engineers stand by that figure. The Transport and Infrastructure Development Ministry also did a breakdown of other costs. The total cost of the interchange includes diversion roads from Stone Ridge, Hopley, Forbes and Malvin in waterfalls back to Beatrice Road which are currently under construction. This includes the missing link of Harare Drive from Masota Love into Hangton Park traffic circle and the bridge across Mukovisi which brings the total cost of the interchange to 88 million US dollars excluding VAT charges. Noted the statement Transport Minister Felix Mona signed the framework deal with Fossil Holdings Chief Executive Obey Chumuka on behalf of the former consortium consisting of Tesla Construction and Masimba Holdings. Work, however, is currently moving smoothly at Mbuzi traffic circle following the completion of reinforced concrete and steel structures that will hold pillars for the Glenora Bridge housing a slip lane heading into Arari Mashungo Highway. The complex flyover is a major civil engineering work that the completed reinforced concrete and steel structure is very essential and can cope easily with the continual vibration of, of thousands of heavy vehicles a day. Government is doing a splendid job on the Budzi roundabout. Our wish is that the contractors keep up with their pace. As of last month, there was nothing, but now it is for all to see, said Mr. Trinos Chakwanda. However, illegal pirating taxes, commonly known as Mshikashika, continue to make life difficult for the contractors as they were operating in their vicinity. Ms. Edna Murenda said law enforcement agents should assist curb the Ruji Mshikashika elements that are disturbing the smoothness of heavy equipment on site. Lenora Bridge is now very busy. 
considering the flow of the caterpillars and timbers moving up and down, law enforcement agents should ring supreme to curb the Mushikashika guys worsening the situation, she said. In recent years, the Randall board has seen traffic jams, especially during morning and evening peak hours, that see much of this traffic having to go thirds of the way around the roundabout, basically blocking those on the other roads from even accessing the roundabout. So guys, that's the latest here regarding to the Mbuzi roundabout uh, project. And yes, Wopo has been uh, saying a lot regarding to the cost of the roundabout yes on social media and remember this is Herald. Herald is saying that Hopo is lying and uh, 88 million US dollar uh, katala na name contractors deal chai chai not whatever Hopo is saying and it's like so mimi mimi mwana say ngati tawari in the comment section this is um daily news breaking news on prince miller entertainment tv i'm just gonna read what Hopo have wrote here on his uh, facebook account regarding to that whole situation in a roundabout and so he said that uh, i have spoken to the south african engineers who designed the mbuzi roundabout they told me that the real cost is a 42 million us dollar maximum not the 88 million being paid to Tagwire. below is the real plan which they sent to me they said 88 million us dollar was grand theft what do you say Zimbabweans? 46 million stolen just like that. And uh, yes, this is what Hopo wrote on his uh, Facebook account. He actually continued. He says, uh, now for you to understand the level of theft done here, Zimbabwe's biggest hospitals with only two maternity theaters, only one for them is working. These two maternity theaters were built in 1977 by the colonial government. It cost 37,000 US dollars to build one maternity theater. 2,500 pregnant Zimbabwean women die every year because there are no maternity theaters. The 46 million US dollar looted in this deal would build 1,164 maternity theaters. That is the cost of corruption to you, and especially if you are a woman. That cost is 2,500 deaths annual to pregnant women because of ZANU PF looting. And this is what the people have wrote on his uh, Facebook account. So, Zabazatakuti, um, Herald and the contractors by reply and about this situation yeah wopo you could see panamari you will be a panamari will be what because the cost actor ne government ne cost actor ne ma engineers like a designer that would run about ask balance and so it seems like akuda tagure is also the main contractor in this whole deal which is also benefiting from this project and so guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller in the same tv got it in the comment section uh the contractors are denying our uh, opus uh, claims that uh panamari rubiwa and it but this whole project so again who is telling the truth and who is lying Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment and follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is uh, Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Bless up.